360 has been awakened. Names, day, skip, day, pledge. Okay. And you'll go first with name. Yes. Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Nate Malmer. And I'm Ethan Brubaker. <coughs> hey, so Ethan, who do you think the cutest girl in school is? Easy. The one watching this video. Please ri Oh, today is Wednesday, April 4th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge of the flag. <laughs> <laughs> you play <a> <laughs> <laughs> Due to everyone's super busy schedule, the robotics club meeting scheduled for this afternoon is canceled. No. Instead, we are going to meet during homeroom on Friday for a group photo and distribution of the much coveted yellow cones. Oh. You need to check oh. into homeroom a bit early on Friday and then hoof it up to 320 as quickly as you can. So one more time, no robot club meeting today. It has moved to homeroom on Friday. Questions? Email Mr. Myers. You ready for a doozy of an announcement? <coughs> oh, I can't even speak. Attention current 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. You are now enrolled in the Online Safety and Digital Citizenship 2018-2019 course on Schoology. This course is one of the requirements that you must complete in order to keep your laptop for the summer and or be issued your device for next school year. An email has been sent out to your parents with the link to the Digital Parental Acknowledgement form. Both the parent permission and the Schoology course must be completed by all students. Our goal is for everyone to have both requirements completed by the end of the school year. If you intend to keep your laptop for the summer, these requirements must be completed by Tuesday, May 30th. Please note that the online safety and digital citizenship course is different than the one you completed last year. This is half as much content, so it should take you half the amount of time. You must earn 100% on each checkpoint, uh, checkpoint quiz to progress to the next throughout the course. Do not guess your way through the questions. You are still expected to read all the pages and watch all the videos. <clears throat> you will receive different checkpoint questions each time you take a quiz. You must do all three modules in the course exit ticket to complete the course. Do not delay. It is in your best interest to get the course in the Digital Parental Acknowledgement completed ASAP. Now we're to uh, Gerald Straley. Hey. Hey. A uh, shooting at the YouTube headquarters in California has left four people hospitalized with one in serious condition. The shooter was reportedly 39-year-old Persian YouTuber Nassim Agadam, whose channel was primarily a discussion vlog on the topic of veganism and animal cruelty. She had in recent years become angry at YouTube company for supposedly restricting the appearance of her videos in recommended feeds, limiting her income. It is unknown if this is true, but its veracity is doubtful. On this day in 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated while standing outside a motel's balcony. He was in Memphis, Tennessee to support a sanitation worker strike when a man named James Earl Ray shot him in the jaw, which proved to be a fatal hit. You all know King's I Have a Dream speech, and he did so much for the civil rights movement during the 1960s that he's seen as the leader of the whole era. It's important to note how many changes MLK was able to make in his lifetime when it came to equal rights for all. Now, back to the main desk for the lunch. Hey, what up? Uh, we have the Matt Ear Popcorn Chicken Bowl with WG Roll and Margarine. Three cheese croissant or ham cheese croissant or broccoli cheese croissant. Whoa, that's insane. a lot of croissants right there. You know it. Uh, this is a turkey BLT flatbread. You got PBJ Encrustable. Taco salad. Whipped potatoes. Got them. Steamed corn, broccoli cauliflower <laughs> salad, chilled peaches, fresh fruit, or, or that slushy. Uh, now over to uh, one of Mary's accounts with uh, hey, sports. I don't know which one it is. Mary B. Benson. <laughs> 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 hey, you got 
Isn't there, like, like, isn't there a news thing for every person? Every person? Huh? Isn't there a news thing? Yeah, that like 60, 60 degree day weather. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, the middle of January. Back to snow. In sports resorts, Tennis versus Manheim Township was postponed, and Track versus Lebanon was also postponed. Volleyball won 3 0 versus Lebanon. Yes! Today in sports, tennis is away at Conestoga Valley. Softball is away at Garden Spot. Boys lacrosse is away at Garden Spot. Baseball is home versus Lampeter Strasburg. And girls lacrosse is home versus Garden Spot. Now back to the main deck. This announcement is for any student who is taking an AP exam and still owes balance for their test fees. Please stop by the counseling office to drop off your payment ASAP, as final payments are due April, Friday the 13th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Ditzler. Hello, all seniors. Hey, that's me. You want to help out at this year's baccalaureate? That's me. Uh, it's a church service celebrating our graduating class at the end of the school year. For more information, there's a meeting in room 108, Mr. Buck's room, right after school on Friday, April 6th. Please contact Grace Dalavai, Ethan Brubaker, or Seth Follinger. Hey. Contact us if you want to help out. It's pretty lit. Oh, wow. oh yeah. This is him. Now I pull it out. <laughs> Only six members are selected to become representatives of student council per grade to represent our student body. Uh, and since you represent our school and student body, you will need to hold elections for those positions. To qualify, you will need to stop down and pick up your petition for Mr. Marzak in room 137. You will need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade only or your petition will be void. Next, you will need to ask a teacher or administrator at the high school for recommendation basically saying that you would be a great leader a hard worker and would represent our school well. But you can't ask Mr. Marzoff, Mrs. Eshman, or Senior Cyril because they are the student council advisors. Finally, a list of eligible students running to be representatives will be sent to the faculty for one last look-see. Just, <laughs> just make sure um, all, all said students are running within good standing at the high school. And if everything goes well, which it probably will, elections will be held on Friday, April 20th. That means voting, people. So stop down to see Mr. Marzoff and get your petitions and teacher recommendation forms turned in by Friday, April 13th. Any petition or teacher recommendation received at Friday, April 13th will not be accepted. So stop down to see Mr. Marzoff in room 137 and let's get this show on the road. Uh, that's it for us, Ephrata. Have, Have a, a uh, Dwight Schrute day. Got him. Oh. Please don't. <laughs> I'm gonna kiss this guy. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I messed up. I don't know where I messed up. Oh, um, I think we missed the first.